Welcome back to the Tweaking Tools series. This is episode 15, and today we're going after something every gamer has felt. Frame drops and micro hitches, they come out of nowhere. You've got good hardware, you've tuned your GPU, your CPU's fine, yet every few seconds, your frame time graph spikes. That's not random. It's often caused by GPU context switching, flip model inconsistencies, and how Windows schedules the render queue between your GPU and display compositor. This episode is about fixing that communication layer, optimizing how the GPU delivers frames, how Windows flips them, and how to prevent micro stalls during those transitions. Everything here is safe, tested, and reversible. No risky patches, no firmware edits, just real configuration level tuning that directly affects smoothness. Let's get started. Step one, reset graphics queue and flip model state. Before doing any performance tuning or testing, it's important to start from a completely clean state. Old DX cache data, outdated shaders, or corrupted flip model registry entries can all introduce small rendering delays or inconsistent frame pacing, which makes tuning results unreliable. 1. Clear graphics shader and DX cache. Open command prompt admin and run the following commands one by one. Once the command's complete, reboot your PC to make sure all cache files are properly cleared from memory. This process removes any outdated or partially compiled shader pipelines that can cause redundant context switching, especially noticeable in DX12 and flip model-based applications. Clearing them ensures your GPU starts from a clean state when compiling new shaders, improving consistency in frame delivery and rendering stability. 2. Reset Flip Model Preference Next, open Registry Editor, RegEdit, and go to Right-click and delete the entire User GPU Preferences key. Don't worry, Windows automatically recreates it the next time a game or app is launched. No manual revert is needed. Windows will generate default values on the next startup. Resetting this key ensures all DX applications revert to their standard, balanced rendering paths. This prevents older custom preferences from interfering with flip model behavior and gives you a neutral baseline, ready for clean and accurate performance tuning. Step 2. Tuning flip model behavior, windowed versus full screen. Modern Windows 10 or 11 uses flip model presentation for rendering frames efficiently, replacing old bit block copy modes. However, some systems have mixed behavior. Some apps still use legacy mode, others use flip model. We'll standardize that for smoother frame pacing. Registry Edit. Step 3. GPU context switch and queue depth optimization. Now we'll address the heart of the problem, GPU context switching. Every time a GPU changes from rendering one task to another, for example, from a game to the overlay, or from 3D to video decode, there's a context switch. Too many switches equals stutters. Let's reduce their frequency. 1. Registry command. Limit concurrent GPU contexts. Disable context delay for direct 3D. Force minimal context preemption for real-time rendering. Revert commands in case something goes wrong. Two, explanation. Max queued frames equals one keeps GPU submission latency minimal. TDR delay equals 10 prevents false GPU resets that manifest as one second hitches. HW preemption mode equals 1 prioritizes active rendering contexts, keeping overlays or browser acceleration from stealing cycles. This step can dramatically reduce sudden FPS dips caused by GPU handoff or shared context load. Step 4. 
force consistent presentation cue. Even with flip model, Windows can dynamically adjust frame buffering between one to three frames based on system load. This adaptive behavior can cause frame pacing inconsistencies. We'll fix it to a static one frame render queue for maximum responsiveness. Command Prompt Admin Force DXGI presentation model to one frame queue. Disable desktop window manager queue adaptation. Revert commands in case something goes wrong. Optional. NVIDIA Control Reinforcement In NVIDIA Control Panel, Manage 3D Settings, Low Latency Mode, Ultra. That ensures the driver level queue also stays tight, matching our registry level enforcement. Step 5. Validation, Testing and Visual Stability Check now let's make sure the improvements are real, not just theoretical. 1. Test Tools Cap Frame X or Present Mon to log frame times, MS. NVIDIA Frame View to verify GPU context switch count. MSI Afterburner Frame Time Graph to visualize stutters. 2. What to look for Frame time variance 1% low should improve. Fewer GPU context switches per second in frame view logs. Lower latency in DX12 and Vulkan games with flip model enabled. 3. Game validation. Test multiple APIs. DX11 game, CS2, Apex Legends. DX12 game, MW3, Forza Horizon. Vulkan game, e.g. Doom Eternal. If you see consistent frame times, smoother alt tabbing, and faster load to render transitions, your context pipeline is stable. And that's how you fix frame drops by optimizing GPU context switching and flip model behavior at the system level. We didn't just tweak graphics settings, we tuned how Windows, DirectX, and your GPU driver communicate. By tightening the render queue, forcing consistent flip model delivery, and reducing context overhead, you get smoother frame pacing, fewer hitches, and a more direct locked-in input feel. Every tweak here is fully reversible, so experiment and keep what feels best for your system. If your frame time graph looks flatter and gameplay feels steadier, drop your results in the comments, especially your before versus after CapFrameX data. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.